Hello everyone, the all-in-one checklist Odoo app lets you to create and manage the checklist across multiple modules like sales, purchase, manufacturing, stock, CRM, meeting, project, task and even in employee entry and exit checklist. It is a simple way to stay organized, track progress and ensure every step is completed on time. Let's dive in and see how it works. At first, let's get into the sales, where under the configuration, we can see an option to create a checklist and where in this, we can see the same over here for creating the same in the template. Now, we can add a checklist which we have created in the template. So, let's get into the quotation and see how it works. So, for cre after creating the quotation, you can see the checklist option where we can add a list of checklists with all the um, templates which we have added. So, from here, we can remove it and you can see uh, the template which we have removed. It will automatically remove all the checklists that we have added in the same template. Now, in this, you can see the end sales checklist where you can uh, make a progress complete over here by using this option. And if needed, you can make an cancel option to cancel it and you can see the date description name everything and along with the progress so the progress can be viewed in the list of view and also we can see the same over here in the Kanban view too and also we have a filter option to filter it out based on the completed and uncompleted state like the same way let's get into the purchase now so for the purchase we need to create a purchase che checklist and also we need to add the same over here in the template now from here in the quotation you can see a progress in the list view and also in the command view too while getting into end purchase order where you can see the checklist so we can add another checklist too so it will list out all the list of checklists that we have and also we have a same here in the like a filter option so whether we can complete it or else we can list out based on an uncompleted purchase order list now let's check for manufacturing so for manufacturing we need to get in the manufacturing under the configuration we can see a checklist and also we have a checklist template now if you create a new manufacturing order where you can see a checklist progress over here in the list view also in the kanban view too and if you get into a specific order where you can see a list of checklists and if needed we can cancel it and you can see the progress will be available here now let's get into the stock so for the stock we need to get into an inventory under the configuration we can have a stock checklist and also we have created a stock, a stock checklist template so from here let's get into the delivery orders for example where you can see in uh, checklist to progress in the list view and also we can same, uh, see the same in the Kanban view too. So while getting into the checklist where you can see a list of checklists that we have. Like the same way we can do the same for the receipts too. Now let's check for a CRM. So for that we need to get into the configuration where you can see a CRM checklist and also the CRM checklist template. Now you can see the same over here in the Kanban view and also we can see the same in the list view too. So let's get into that where you can see a list of checklists which we have and also we can filter it out based on a checklist completed and also an uncompleted state. Now let's get into a meeting. So for that we need to get into the calendar from the list of view of a meeting where you can see a checklist progress and for a meeting also we can add a checklist template and also we can add it whenever you need and you can track all the meeting notes that we have. And let's get into the project now. So for a project, we need to get into the projects where um, configuration, we can create a template for a project and also for the task. So for that, we need to create a project checklist first, task checklist. So once we have created project and task checklist, we can create a template for the same. Okay. Now let's get into the project. So for the project, we can add a checklist over here and we can make that as a done once it is done. Like the same way, we can do the same for all tasks. We can add a checklist where you can see the progress in the list of view also in the Kanban view too. And also we have the filter option to filter it out. Now, let's get into an employee to track an employee entry and exit checklist. So for that, we need to get into the employee where you can see in the configuration, we have an employee entry checklist and also an exit checklist. We can create an entry and exit and also we can create a template for the same. Now, if you get into the employee where you can see an entry checklist separately and also the exit checklist separately. So based on the results, it will show the same here in the Kanban view also in the list of view too. 
and if you need to filter it out you can filter it out based on a checklist like employee entry checklist employee entry checklist completed and completed employee exit checklist completed and uncompleted so these are the filters which we have so these are all about n module if you have any queries regarding this video you can ask in the comment box we will definitely solve your queries and if you feel this video is helpful to you you can like this video and subscribe our youtube channel for more audio related updates thanks for watching